but it's still coming closer though. Whoa. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> as part of their full self-driving package, Tesla has a feature which sort of acts as your own personal autonomous valet. They're calling this the Smart Summon. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a test to see is this just a gimmick or is this a practical feature that you can use in your everyday life? And I know exactly the perfect place to try this out, so let's head out into the car and start the test. Alright, so I'm right here at a location which I feel is perfect for this test because I come here a lot and most of the time when I come here, I have to park across the street. As you can see, the car is all the way in the other location. Sometimes when it's very cold, I always used to normally wish there was a way I could grab that car and just bring it in front of me without having to walk across the street. This was even before I got a Tesla. But now it's good. the good thing is that I have a car that claims to be able to do that. So let's put that to a test and see if the car can actually come to me if I call it. For me, that would be a practical test and a way that I would like to use this. So let's try this out. So to give a better context, I'm right here and the car is right here. So the car has to navigate its way all the way across to get to me. That's about 150 feet, just shy of the 200 feet limit that Tesla set on this. So let's give this a try and let's see how this works. I'm gonna put it up, open up the Tesla app on my phone right now and go to the summon and have it come to me and let's see, let's see what happens. All right, so at this point, the car suddenly stopped. I wasn't sure why it stopped, and it said waiting for parts to clear, so I wasn't sure what was blocking the part. But if we play that video again in slow motion, you would see that there was a car that passed by, although it was quite far away. I guess this was what sort of like freaked the car up and it stopped. Not bad, it's better cautious than reckless. So let's keep it going. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the car. Let's see if it makes it. What is it doing though? Uh, let me see if it's gonna navigate past the bus. That is super tight. That is super tight, okay. It's reversing. It's gonna try and navigate beyond the bus and like that is super tight. That is super tight. <laughs> All right, it did it. It came to me. It actually did it. And I guess at this point, I'm just gonna get into my car and close the door and get out to where I was supposed to be. Wow, so far I must say I was very, very impressed with that. That was pretty good. As you can see, the car came all the way to me from all the way across the street. So I'm really, really impressed with that. So I'm gonna give it, start with a practicality score of about maybe an eight or so, uh, just because again, there were some few issues there, but let's start with an eight. But now I wanna put it to the test some more to see. If I take this out and maybe there was somebody who passed by or there's another car or there's an obstacle, will it still work? So those are the next test that we're gonna do. That's test number two. And then we're gonna see if that practicality score is gonna go higher or go lower or stay the same. So let's go and do test number two. Because again, this is my experiment. I'm gonna be the sacrificial lamp here. I'm gonna stand in front of the car and I'm gonna have my brother here, Tweeny, almost Tweeny. He's gonna be the one to do the come to me. We're gonna have him stand somewhere there uh, at the back and then we're gonna see what happens when the car comes. But for safety reasons, I, I don't wanna get hit by my car. We're gonna have a, let's have a, a, a red line. So it's gonna be this parking spot right here. So if the car passes this point, then that's like danger, like you have to stop it or something. I'm gonna wave my hand and like scream, hey, stop, okay? Because I don't wanna get hit by the car, but let's see what happens. We saw it try to avoid the bus back there, which is quite impressive, but let's see what happens uh, when there's a human being. So, okay, we're gonna go all the way back. I'm gonna probably just stand like a few meters. This is a few meters from it here. And then uh, when you're ready, just hit it, hit it. Hit it. So the car is right there. Uh, let's see what happens. So I'm a stranger. All right, it started coming. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, it stopped. Did, it, did you stop it? It stopped itself. Oh, wait, it's still trying to come. 
Okay, it's still stopped. Uh, let's see what, what's going on here. Ah, oh, it says waiting for pedestrian. That's cool. But it's still coming closer though. Whoa. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> did, did you press it again? No, You've been holding it all through? Yeah. Okay. That is a fail. Let's try that one more time and then let's see. That, that, that was a total fail. That, that gets me scared. I think it drops the practicality score to like four <laughs> or two. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do test number two. Uh, let's try that one more time. We're gonna actually have him do it. Since the car was moving very slowly, I'm actually gonna let it and see if it's gonna try to hit me. Let's, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. But in all fairness to them, they said you have to be visible. You need to be able to see the car. So technically, it stopped, I guess, giving you some time to unrelease that button. But let, let's see what happens. Alright, the car is right there. It stopped for pedestrian. Okay, yeah, it's in waiting for path to clear. But you see her left, you, yeah, still holding it. So this time around it stopped for some reason, it's not moving. So maybe the first one was a glitch. Yeah, so now it's refusing. So let me get out of the way. Okay, so I moved out of the way and it cleared. So what if I ran and like, whoa, nope, it doesn't stop. Did it stop itself? You let go, no, it doesn't stop, so. Uh, yeah, will I trust this with that? No, because this is supposed to be used in a parking lot like this ones, or in the malls. It's very easy for kids to be running around, people moving around. As you saw, when it's a quick part, it doesn't stop. So, the practicality level, I don't know, that drops to me down to like a six. I guess I can use this in a parking lot that was empty and I could clearly see it was empty and I have a wider view, but will I be comfortable like what we did in the first time where I call it from the other side of the road without seeing? At this point, no. Maybe the ones that have the FSD beta, probably that is better, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know that I can trust it yet. So that practicality level just dropped down for me. We're gonna do one more test, um, which is we are gonna run this. Again, it has another option that makes it go to target. I don't really know what that does. So let's try that out and see what that does. Okay, so right here on the app, it has this an option for it to go to target. So I don't really know what this is for. I guess if you were maybe parked in the woods or something like that, or you were, I don't know, an open space, you could maybe ask the car to go park somewhere because you could make it go to target, but it doesn't park itself, it just stops there. But I guess if I was in the woods camping, I could maybe move it out of the way, just tell it to go stop somewhere where there's no parking lot. But we're gonna try something. I am seeing a thing whereby I was probably somewhere there and we were unloading and offloading things. Could I ask the car to go? all the way there and pick something and then bring it back and we use that as a loading and offloading. Let's see, so we're gonna try that out now. So I'm gonna be there offloading, I'll send the car, I'll go to Target and ask it to come back to me and let's see if that works, so. Yeah, so I have so I have my computer here. So, I mean, technically, imagine you were offloading and loading things and using the car as a ferry. It was just two of us, but we'll use my computer for today. So I wanna see if I could send the car to go bring my computer unlock it, he will load it into the car and the car comes back to me. So I'm gonna go like, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. Let's go like all the way, all the way back. Yeah, I, I'll just leave it there for now and I'll, I'll, I'll come from here and let's see, let's see how that works. So what I'm gonna do right now on the app is that I'm gonna ask you to go to a target. The target is somewhere right here. All right, that's the target I wanted to go to. All right, there's me sending my car to go help me pick up something and bring it back to me. Uh, yikes. Wow, okay. It almost hit a cop there, but it avoided that. Scary. But it's going. All right, so it stopped. So I guess technically it has arrived, okay? So I'm gonna go to the app. Uh, let me the app and unlock it. I'm gonna unlock the, the trunk. So I'm having put it back at the trunk, so let's see the car is receiving something from me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just close the trunk. And then we'll go back to someone and have it come back to me. All right, so technically it did work. It's back, so here we go. 
I have my bag. So, I mean, in terms of practicality, I, I don't know what use case you would have for this, but it's still damn cool that you could send a car 200 feet to pick stuff and bring back, and you could ferry it back and forth, technically, if you're using it and you have just two people. So, that worked well. So it's been a couple of days since I ran those tests and I must say that after that I got more confident in this feature and I kept using it more and more and more. So overall I would say the practicality score of this for me it's about a 7. It works the way they said it should work. Obviously you have to make sure that you have a good line of sight to the car so you can take action in case something happens that needs you to intervene. But overall this works great. It's a super cool feature to have to demonstrate to friends to show off and also to use even as a practical feature. So that's been it from me. Uh, hopefully now you know how well this works. If you want to see more videos from me, see me do more tests, let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe so you can see those videos whenever they're out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.